My Dubara. presentation. <clears throat> okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Starting in the best name of Allah Almighty, the most beneficent and most merciful, respected class teacher and dear fellows, good morning and assalamu alaikum to all of you. Today, me Farzana here to represent my topic, sugar alcohols are important in food chemistry. Dear soul, before going to the formal topic, let me introduce you with the sugar alcohols. Sugar alcohols, also known as polyols, they are ingredients used as sweeteners and bulking agents. They occur naturally in foods and they come from plant products such as fruits and berries. They is a sugar substitute. They provide a fewer calories, about a half to one third less calories than regular sugars. Manufacturers use the term sugar-free or no added sugar. Most people get confused between sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners. Let me to tell you about some differences between sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners. Two types of sugar substitutes both, but the artificial sweeteners contain zero calories. Artificial sweeteners do not contain carbohydrates, said, so they do not cause blood sugar to elevate. Whereas sugar alcohols contain about 2.6 calories per gram, Another issue is diabetes management. Sugar alcohols have some effect on blood sugar. Sugar alcohols or polyols differ from sugars in that the aldehyde ketone function of sugar molecule is reduced to an alcohol. Now there are different forms of sugar alcohol, like mannitol, which occurs naturally in pineapples, olives, asparagus, sweet potatoes, and carrots. It is extracted from seaweed for use in food manufacturing. 50 to 70% of the relative sweetness of sugar, which means most must be used to equal the sweetness of sugar. Second is sorbitol, found naturally in fruits and vegetables. 50% of the relative sweetness of sugar, it is manufactured from corn syrup. The third is xylitol, which is also known as wood sugar and occurs naturally in straw, corn cobs, fruit, vegetables, cereals, mushrooms, and some cereals. It has the same relative sweetness as sugar. It is found in chewing gums. Uh, also, yeah, there are other forms of sugar alcohols like erythritol, glycerol, hydrogenated starch, isolate, lactitol, melitol, sorbitol, and xylot. Now, sugar alcohols are found in a variety of products like baked goods, candies, chewable vitamins, chocolates, cough drop, cough syrups, drinks for stings, gums, and ice creams. Now they have different characteristics. They are not as sweet as general sugars and do not contain as many calories as sugars. Their metabolism is not possible by oral bacteria. They do not turn brown in color on heating like general sugars. Dissolution of sugar alcohols is an endothermic reaction they give cooling sensation consumption. They do not completely get absorbed into the bloodstream. Their rate of absorption 50% slower than sugars. Now, dear all, as saying is that necessity is the mother of invention. So why the food uh, in food chemistry needs the uh, sugar alcohols or why the sugar alcohols become important in food chemistry? As the epidemic obesity and diabetes encourage the changes in population, lifestyle, and consumers' food products awareness, food industry has responded to people's demand by producing a number of energy-reduced products with sugar alcohols as sweeteners. 
these compounds are usually produced by catalytic hydrogenation of carbohydrates due to their properties sugar alcohols are widely used in food beverage confectionery and the pharmaceutical industries throughout the world they are added to foods as alternative sweeteners what might be helpful in the control of calories intake food manufacturers may use sugar alcohols to add sweetness and a flavor to products they also act as a bulking or texturizing agent sugar alcohols may be combined with artificial sweeteners in some foods now if consumed in excess some sugar alcohols can cause gastrointestinal discomfort and a laxative effect thank you for listening